Right, hello, welcome to game two, everyone. And um, this looks not as fun as Baby Chaos because it's Orcs. He only has an Apple Extra, though, he's still got a rookie team. So that's alright, and he's got a Mr. Throw. He's put effort into naming his players, so hopefully he's a fucking. Uh, he's a fucking filthy fun haver. <laughs> <laughs> no team, not my champion. <laughs> I'll take the Tim Tams. <laughs> I mean, I'd have the Tim Tams. I just, I just wouldn't delete the Hammerina. So yeah, got an extra, got an extra zombie. So I mean, that, that's good, isn't it? Can get a bit outbashed. And uh, it's not the end of the world. I want to find everyone who plays Norse in real life and just beat them to within an inch of their fucking life. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> yeah, I do need Jim Snipe back. I'll, I'll do it, I'll do it, Safi. I just literally couldn't find it. I just filled it up with whatever shit I could find. <laughs> That's why there's a fucking Rando JFW one. Like, you know. Could bench her ghoul, but boot ghouls are quite good. <laughs> Fucking Norse. Oh yeah, and then the idea... Jim DD's back! Jim DD's back, Lemon Lock! Oh, I'm, I'm on caps lock, obviously. There you go, look, I think it probably is tier 3, but there you go. Probably is tier three. I can make it tier two. I don't know what it is. I can make it tier one. Another one's tier two. We'll have to have a. We'll have to discuss it all on a stream and uh, and work out what people want. So there you go. No, I don't think so, Satatone. I think the Beaver one's a pretty good one, because it's something to do. I mean, you can do Jim G when people sub as well, but I, I quite like the Beaver one. <laughs> Beating the Beaver to death sounds like a dirty movie. <laughs> no, when. You're there, you're there, ready to get fucked. No one's got a big guy. When, you've, when, when they've got a big guy, I'm going to put you in the middle so that they'll hit you with the Mighty Blow character. But until then, you're going to be on the outside so you've got more chance of follow-up blocks. <laughs> Sorry, Moradam. Well, there you go, look. Wait, wait. That's what I mean. We'll have like on on one of the rando streams, like one on one of the Tuesday rando streams. We'll we'll do a discussion of of, uh, of different tiers and stuff. Whatever. The Jim Mad sunglasses one's pretty good, isn't it? I was pretty happy with that. Day. Some of them, the sunglasses are in exactly the right place. Oh, Wayne Farrow's armor holds. Lucky boy. It is an interesting setup, isn't it? Maybe he's new to Blood Bowl. Time signed floodies, I've got no idea. No idea what that means. <laughs> I've never had one of those ever. I 
I didn't know that existed. Isn't that crazy? I had no idea that existed. Oh wow, he, he won in nine with his, uh, his guy without block. Fantastic. <laughs> oh dear. The heat is on. <laughs> Thanks, Rosie Hu. Having fun is I'm I'm really gonna try it and enjoy it. That is definitely uh that's definitely the goal. Is to uh not try too hard. Try to have fun with it. Oh, I stopped the three D. Or has he? <laughs> Thanks, Morida. The ghoul is to try and have fun. <laughs> really, Elliot's Elliot's top marble stream. Oh man, got JFW though. JFW so much better, isn't it, Kfog? You can see fucking PTK. <laughs> can you read me, Kelly Preston? Oh god, no, no, he can't now. That's bad. That's topical, but that's bad. That's not. You can't. No, that's that's that's. Uh, I was thinking Moridan. That's bad. That's that's not fun. Right, let's uh, blitz him. Could have stood him up first. Doesn't matter. Right, put him up there. Put him there. He's only got two rerolls now, so giving up this block isn't so bad, I guess. Especially if he follows, he gets hit by a fucking... Um. Oh, glory. Herb, derp, base, base, base. This won't fail. I'm arm rate. 2T2. 2T2. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much for the dono. Glorious. <laughs> Slave to the ham, I am, yeah. <laughs> Back to work. Oh, right. Thanks. Thanks, uh, PTK. Lovely chap. A lovely chap that is PTK. I assume Necro is Necro Impotence, isn't it? I didn't even see the... Uh, the one 18 minutes ago. Why didn't I see that? Well, thank you very much, Necro. Presumably Necro Impotence. <laughs> thank you very much. I didn't even see the, the tenor. Well, thank you very, very much. Glorious. How did I not see that? Get some quality biscuits. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you are. I fucking love trading life to draw cards. My favourite thing to do. Ah, oh, there's just some justice for you there then, Squirrel. Good. <laughs> And protecting the uh, protecting the flanks there meant that he blitzed without block, which was nice, wasn't it? Not that it had any effect, but that's fine. <laughs> Looking at the maths, JFW is better. There you go. <laughs> it is exciting, isn't it? How gyroscopic. Yeah, the long-awaited return. <laughs> well, I don't know if anyone's awaited it, but there you go. The long time coming return is there. <laughs> Finally returned to Blood Bowl. Quite a heavy commitment to get the 2DB there. 
the side, isn't it? But could do it with one of the assists being from a cool who could reposition. <laughs> I think it's okay to stand up this dude. Again, because he's blocking without block and he's only got two rerolls. Expect it to power him there. Got to admit, that was a bit fucking stupid, wasn't it? Expecting a pow. <laughs> he could blitz somebody and then he could block. <laughs> Never again, good. A good bit of justice. Let that be a lesson to you. Skuro's missile. Could just put a dude in there and then punch one of these assholes. And then blitz him to so that these guys are over here a bit. Nice. Oh, I could go in there, couldn't I? Or here? Block him and follow. There's no need to get ghouls tagged for no reason. <sighs> yeah, exactly, Flicky Flag. I think I think I've honestly I think I've cracked it. I spent obviously all that time not playing. I spent a decent amount of time thinking. And I think I think I've got it. Um it's a custom one from the OFL Necro Pulpness. Oh, thanks very much, Mongoose is loose. <laughs> no, I'd say I think that's I, I honestly I think I'm I think I'm gonna be alright this time. Yeah, no, I mean, a bunch of people won't have done if they haven't got the OFL logos. I was thinking of making, maybe it's with, uh, maybe it's with, uh, you know, maybe it's with people. Maybe I could message people. And we could work together to create a, uh, fuck off, a thing, um, a logo pack. That could be good, couldn't it? I don't know what I was saying just a second ago. <laughs> Hopefully, I mean, I, I think I've cracked. I think I've cracked it. Obviously, I might not have done. We'll see once all the shit dice start happening whether I have done or not. But I think I have. <laughs> Thanks, 13 joke 90. That's very nice. <laughs> no, true. I mean, the, the good thing is, look, that like when I was in the league, I had that I got shit dice. I got shit dice more than four times in a row. I got like shit in leagues, I got shit dice about fucking 10 games in a row. And it was one game a week, so it was like, it was like about a month. It was about. Something like 10 games of shit dice in a row. Ish. It was about three months of shit dice. 
And three months of shit, continuous shit dice is a lot, isn't it? <laughs> so, whereas if you just play, like, you know, if you play like Artemis, oh, fuck off. <laughs> didn't even, didn't even bring this guy in, look. Could have, that, that's what I hate. Like, they're the, you know, Chunter, ch everyone, like, mentions about Chunter's Uphills. Chunter's Uphills are, like, proper playing, aren't they, right? Chunter's Uphills are, like, doing things, doing uphills for a reason. This guy just had an assist and didn't bring it in. <laughs> Those ones are the annoying ones. Chunter's ones are fair enough. Didn't he move him? Maybe he's forgotten he's there, actually. To be fair, maybe he's just forgotten he exists. I don't want to move this guy down because that will alert him to his existence. <laughs> well, we could block him off there by blitzing him. That seems good, doesn't it? If it's a pal. I really don't want a one dice skull and then get a ghoul punched. So I guess I won't. Won't it remove? Thanks. <laughs> Uh, well, you know, when he used to play as much, when, I mean, don't forget I'm a few months in the past, but when he used to play like 12 games a day, if he has 12 bad luck games in a row, he's only had one bad day, hasn't he? Whereas <laughs> I had had like three bad months, <laughs> which was pretty fucking ridiculous. No, just a bad month, yeah, a bad month of three games, yeah, yeah, but I had like just a month of shit dice, which was ridiculous. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. That was the thing. So playing less Blood Bowl, ironically, was probably bad for me because it amplified the look and the attachment to the pixels and that, wasn't it? Like, you know, when when Sage killed my team that I'd been working on for like a year and a half or two years or whatever. Um... <laughs> Uh, that was pretty bad. Whereas if it's just a CCL team, then it's just about twenty games, and it's only it's only a few weeks investment, isn't it? So it's just less attachment, which is good. Uh, three ghouls. You just have to start with eleven players. This is the second game, so that's why I've got twelve. But um, you can start with three ghouls with eleven men. He's going for the Herb Derp. He's going for the Herb Derptology. Oh, <laughs> oof. Yeah, that's the shit thing, isn't it, with Chaos, really? Any Bash team, they can get out bashed, and there's not a lot you can do. I'm sure when, I'm sure I'm not a shit to play birds. Yeah, I hate them. Also, 85% effort is significantly less possible with birds than it is with <laughs> than it is with undead. <laughs> than being absolute garbage, when than being literally the worst uh, the worst team in the game. That's what's wrong with birds. <laughs> <laughs> I am back, CCL only, yeah. That was annoying removal, wasn't it? Especially when he could have made it two dice. <laughs> he uphills him instead of one dicing him, and then he one Ds him instead of two Ding him, and each time it was all pals. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> Can we get a hit on the ball? That's the question. 
The answer's probably... Probably need to get pals, right? There's one. There's another one. Didn't need the power that time. <laughs> Key nurse. <laughs> uh, whimsical blood ball. Good. Get fucked. Get fucked, you armory prick. Take your stand firm and fucking shove it up your ass. Stand firm. Show your hands. Whatever. Losing the mummy is horrible, isn't it? So shit with one mummy. <laughs> Race birds. <laughs> um, you can do. There's there's two commands. There's this one, which is the most impressive one. What? There you go. And then there's the one for everything, which would be like this. But the Burt's command is, is the best one for Burt's because it shows that I've never lost to them ever. <laughs> because they're garbage. <laughs> yeah, they're a bit like shit human team, I would say, Sol. I would say Undead with one mummy is like a shit human team. Because look at the against them, Moradam. That's how. 29 7 0 against them. That's ridiculous. I've lost to augers. <laughs> I've lost to augers before. I haven't lost to fucking birds. <laughs> so that's why. That's how I can say that. That's true. But I mean, that's because I had to try really hard. I just tried really hard, Lee and Gary. I just fucking. Because I knew how shit they were, I had to try hard all the time. Whereas, you know, most of the time when I'm using. You know, especially dwarves. Especially dwarves, I just don't care at all and I just play shit. <laughs> I think I play. I play so badly with dwarves. I'm <laughs> just awful, awful with dwarves because I just think, God, this is so easy. I'm just going to punch things. La 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 la. Punch, punch, punch. And you know, that's that's a bit shit way it plays, isn't it, really? So, um. So. <laughs> I kind of actively. actively play shit on purpose with dwarves, basically. Yeah, probably. Well, yeah, it depends whether you count Underworld as stunty, doesn't it? If you count Underworld as not stunty, then they're the worst. <laughs> yeah, I do shit with Chorves, but I, I kind of try with Chorves and just don't do very well with them. <laughs> no, I'm getting fucked here. One, two, three, four. I 
I don't even have a blitz. No, I guess I've got to blitz the uh, this guy. Oof. Do I be greedy and go for another one? I don't think it really achieves anything. So I guess not. Did the one GFI achieve anything? Not really. Getting banged on here, like. Two out with one being mummy is pretty horrible. Always fails to see, always fun to see failed GFIs. Yeah, Kislev get good at 2K TV, which they'll they'll obviously get to. Oh yeah, Kislev are too bad for me to even play. But the thing is, Kislev are high variance. Kis I've got the worst record against Kislev, I believe. Oh, see, like that's the thing. Never lost to a. Uh, never lost to a. Uh, never lost to Burtz, but I think my worst record is against Kislev. Of course, Wayne Fair is dead. Oh, he regens, though. Yeah, Kislev's my worst record. My worst is record is against Kislev. Just because they're high variance. They're not really that. They're not really worse. Like, that's the thing where. The like, isn't it? That's the thing with with Kislev, the high variance, which for me is crap. Not something I enjoy or want to do. But for some people, they're going to find that fun, aren't they? And for some people, it's going to give them a better chance, really, being high variance than not being high variance. So there you go. That was a tactical blunder, yeah, you're correct. Now he's got a movement six ball carry with block instead of a movement five, one without. Yeah, that's true. That was not good. His first concede. <laughs> Ten concession. <laughs> Wayne with the fake news again. He probably didn't even get injured, he probably just went off the field. <laughs> Saying, my, my leg's been broken. <laughs> Nothing, nothing's happened. <laughs> C'est une formation solide. Je demande à voir comment l'adversaire va subtiliser le ballon. I've got no idea, my pup. Oh, look at that. He fucking puts everything on this fucking dodge and makes it. Man, it, even then I can still get two dice on the ball. Interesting strategy, Cotton. Well, it, with a power, we've got two dice on the ball. Oh, yeah. Got the pow. Oh, I should have pushed it here. No, I couldn't. Okay. Don't go for the pickup. It's a question, isn't it? 
Probably not. Do I take this block? No. Well, I felt like the failed pickup wouldn't have been that bad. But, um... <laughs> I wouldn't have wanted to have to reload the GFI. <laughs> well built cage, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> they are the good coaches that that um, embrace the variance. It doesn't mean that they wouldn't do better if they didn't. Oh, look at this lucky motherfucker. <laughs> kills the fucking ghoul. Like, okay, he turns over. <laughs> but he kills the fucking ghoul, doesn't he? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He could he could get in range. Right, punch him. That's why I didn't punch him last turn. Oh, I actually could have blitzed and based him, I guess. Why is it so? I've still got two. <laughs> It's looking brilliant, the, uh, the three ghouls start is looking fantastic now. Oh, for fuck's sake, that's, <laughs> that's pointlessly unlucky, isn't it? Like, he can still score. Yeah, I really find it weird when um, when people don't like ghouls because for thirty k you get plus three you can be my <laughs> and plus one agility, like and dodge. It's crazy. They're so good. Thank you very much, Crucifer, Big Cruce with a massive raid. What an absolute bad ass. Thank you very much. Absolutely glorious. <laughs> he had to do the GFIs. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to do that. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah, they're amazing players. They're completely amazing. And like zombies are complete shit. <laughs> complete zombies are complete trash. <laughs> and uh, ghouls are fucking amazing. Like it doesn't seem to be. Seem to me to be a decision. You can have an extra shit player or an extra really fucking good player. Why would I why would I choose the really shit one? Doesn't make any sense, does it? <laughs> oh god, I mean it is as well, obviously, it's not entirely downside that they're shit. Because they are super cheap, and obviously it means you can foul a bunch and everything. 
Yeah, of course he does. Been absolutely hammered this half, by the way. Like, stopped the score, probably. But been absolutely fucking hammered. I guess it's just a 5 plus 3 plus to score, isn't it? It's not even that unlikely. More than 1 in 6, he gets it. Or even less now. 4 plus 3 plus. Easy score, actually, isn't it? Shit. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have got the canoring threat here. Phew. Look a dog. Right. What are we doing then? 3 plus dodge, 2D him. For the scatter. Yeah, boy. This way. Go this way for the fucking scatter then. Yeah, it was something like that, yeah. I do not think it you. You lucky as hell here. Yeah, it was my it was my channel. <laughs> Art still got it in his Discord. Art still has it in his Discord. So I can get the I can get the actual quote here. It was incredible. Well, ooh, it was fun to be diced by an opponent. Too bad. We will have to wait and see who is the better coach. I do not think it you. You are lucky as hell here. <laughs> incredible. There you go. You did help. Yeah, thank you. Long time ago, wasn't it? Hello, oh, well. Oh, look at this! His guy stayed out and all mine came back. How lucky. What an absolute looker dog. Look at that. That's all the luck that I didn't have for, like, you know, a couple of months. Turned around. Three out of three. Still got 11 men, and he's down to nine. Oh, wow. Well, that's really picked up, hasn't it? That was looking... That was looking really horrible, that half. <laughs> Having five players removed to his two. But then <laughs> all of mine have come back and none of his have. <laughs> so it was, I mean it was it was I was unlucky before, right? So it's it's not that ridiculous, but And still got two ghouls, thanks to uh, having starting with more. Oh yeah. I don't know what player here is. Maybe he's these here to stop the blitz a little bit. Yeah, I guess that's something, isn't it? Well done, Coffee Monster. Yeah, I mean, obviously I was happy with stopping his touchdown. But, um, I wasn't happy about how many removals I've taken. But now it's all okay, isn't it? Because. It's worked out. The other west there. Oh, I could have pushed him there and fouled him, maybe. That would have been novel, wouldn't it? <laughs> A fucking gym foul. Oh, 
est en sécurité. À l'autre équipe de prouver le contraire. Hmm, he could go in here. Inviting a bit of pressure on the cage here, but it's okay because got the extra numbers to deal with it. I think. Could have done. I mean, I don't really want the mummies free, do I? Um, I want. I could. I could have just put him in between the mummies. I think that would have been better to put him in between the enemy maybe foul. To be fair, because that would have been a plus four foul on a strength four dude. That would have been a pretty good foul. I just don't think about fouling. <laughs> it's worked out so badly for me in the past. <laughs> I try to, I try to ignore the possibility of fouling. Good that he's just got to stand up and get pounded by a mighty blow again. Yeah, exactly. So, exactly. That is the one. J'aurais peut-être quelque chose de profond à dire quand les joueurs se. No, I could have given it to a white. I could have given it to a mummy if I was 1-0 up, I guess, but um, I think Akul is more likely to get the touchdown, isn't it, with being able to dodge around and stuff if he has to. So yeah, invited a bit of pressure, but it's not a lot, is it? Hello, Femi. <laughs> yeah, it's the little-known game, Blood Bowl. It's, uh, it can be torture, but glorious. hopefully no I find the formula to not be tortured. Until I'm victorious, <laughs> and I will defend. I will defend. <laughs> Glad to see Jim is trying to be the fifth or sixth best coach playing under this season. <laughs> Slots just behind Gdanik and C. Noor. Wow, that's very disparaging to Gdanik. I mean, <laughs> like it's already. <laughs> it goes to without saying that it's disparaging to me, but that's that's needlessly harsh on Gdanik. <laughs> um. Thank you, thank you very much, though, Squirrel Dude. Squirrel Dude for staying fantastic for three whole years. And, uh, and nine whole beaver pregnancies. Glorious, thank you very much. No, I mean blood. <laughs> cool. Right, so I've got a not follow to get the 2D here. And then I guess this guy blitzes somebody. Maybe this dude to put him down. <laughs> or not. You can stick him on there, which is nice, isn't it? Especially when he's fucking stunned. And now that he's stunned, can put him further back, away from the action. Can't get an assist on this guy, so might as well follow up. Nice, not bad at all. Seven beavers and two hollow pregnancies. 
It's not official rebel casting. No, I'm officially out of rebel, Fermi. I'm officially out of rebel. I quit. Along with the other two leagues I was in. Um, and I'm not in. I'm no longer in. Uh, I'm no longer in any leagues. I thought leagues was a good way. <laughs> yeah, Tony. Um, I only, uh, I thought being in leagues was a better way, but it wasn't. It wasn't a better way because I became too involved in. Them. Whereas now I'm less involved in leagues. I think. No Zoom. No, I still don't know a word of. Views expressed in this stream I still don't are know not supported of by the Rebel admin team. <laughs> Yeah, it's going very well. I've got. I'm really just giving eight nine percent. Well, other people, you know, other people might not know that I'd quit Rebel and quit OFL and quit SFL. <laughs> so I might as well say it. <laughs> One D pound not dead is outrageous, isn't it? <laughs> All of South Florida, yeah. <laughs> yeah, at least less miserable. That's that's the biggest thing, right? I just want to be less miserable. <laughs> and I think being less invested is a great way to be less miserable. Look at that, that fucking 1D there. Fucked him. Finally. Right. You could blitz with the uh, mummy here, right? Because it would be three dice be pretty good. Could 2D with him and then push down that flank which seems like a much better use of my time. Shit ballon. I know he says shit ballon. Well, I don't know he says shit ballon. I always feel like he says shit ballon but apparently he doesn't say shit ballon but he probably should say shit ballon. Okay, this safe moves more or less first. Should I go forward? Yeah, boy. Oh, baby. Right, so we've got the ball there, and this guy can come round to protect more as well. So you can punch him. Yeah, boy. Trap these fuckers all in. Beautiful. You can 2D this clown. Fuck him up. And then he can run around and foul. But it's plus two. Is a plus two worth it? Probably not. Just shore up that corner, I think. This lad will two dice. That's this lad. That's ninety nine percent of blood ball, really, isn't it? Two dicing and hoping for the best. Roll dice. Yeah, playing undead is also a great way to be less miserable, that's true. Lord TV, Lord TV undead is one of the most pleasurable Blood Bowl experiences you're gonna get. <laughs> oh dear. Hello G23, thanks. <laughs> Foul, sorry, sorry, no foul. Pretty sure I just rolled my dice. Yeah. I do have an aggressive dice style, yeah. Anyone who's played me in tabletop can testify to the fact I have a very aggressive dice style. Will, my dice will hit miniatures, fly off the table, all sorts of things happen when I uh, when I throw dice. <laughs> it's true. 
he's got to base not the ball but he's going to base the uh, the white up to base 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 oh, I, just, I just hate dice cup because you look like a fucking nerd and I know I'm at the Blood Bowl tournament where everybody's nerds but it looks so fucking I don't know it, it just like it just irks me it looks so bad it looks so bad where people have their little dice cup and they like put it down and, oh man I just I just can't handle it I literally cannot cannot do a dice cup I just can't do it literally I can't <laughs> I could go up here or could go up there I think up here is better right I'd like to punch this guy and power him and then get a 3D let's go for this one first then ha 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 plim plom plu Get up there. Right, so now I've got two, three players if he blitzes. Three players to move around and protect the ball in some kind of fashion. One, two, three, right. We've got to see if this is a power, I guess. Well, not power, just not a boat down. Get fucked, you little cunt! Ha 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 ha! Fuck <laughs> off! Right, now that it's not, we can move to here. 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 Ball safe. And I guess he goes in, tucks in here. Not bad. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, I mean, yeah, people do slam it down. Yeah. <laughs> Still trying to secure the three nil. Fulinarian. Let's go. I don't know how much that cost me. Very good. Uh, no, I didn't want to stand up. I was only first. I mean, maybe I should have done. Yeah. Dice towers, yeah. No, I mean, look, it, I'm not saying, I'm not saying that you know that they are losers or anything. It's just I just can't shake it when I see it. I can't handle it, and I just can't get on board with it. And even though I'm at a blood ball tournament and I'm playing blood ball, and that's already you know nerdy enough and everything, you shouldn't be judging anybody in a blood ball tournament. But I just can't help. I just can't help it. I, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. I, it's totally irrational. But um. There you go. <laughs> I did have a dice tray for 40k, to be honest. Just because that was, like, sensible. Because I didn't want to fuck up my dice rolling them on, like, you know, the fucking sand and shit that they put on the tables. Yeah, I thought about that scroll, dude. But I thought this way I get to punch him and walk up, right? That was literally why I put him there, so that I could have isolated him one-on-one. -on -one. That was literally why I assisted from that square, because I would get further up. But this way I could, I can still punch him next turn, so I, I didn't mind being able to punch him. <sighs> no gyroscopy, I stopped playing 40k, because uh, this Scottish guy cheated against me, and uh, pissed me off. It made me not want to play 40k ever again. <laughs> Basically, um, 
That was that was the big thing. It was just you know it's too open to abuse. It's too open to abuse with a time thing. Um, he just took too long. He took too long. He was stalling. He had an army of about five models. That was the funniest thing. And he stalled that much time that we didn't get to finish the turn, the, the game in time, basically. And it was just horrible. Right, so what, what do we do here? Where does the blitz come? What do we do? Him, he can't go anywhere else. So blitzing would be alright there. These two can block, he can block, he can block, he can block. I guess can cage up round here, so this could just be a block. And then he could blitz or something, I guess. Well, in that case, he could blitz, and then he could go there. So he might as well blitz, and then it's with block. Got the pal. Beautiful. Glorious. No, I won't give in. Until I'm victorious. And I will defend. I will defend. Holy moly. This looks like 11 turns more of Blood Bowl than anyone was expecting this season. <laughs> it is, isn't it? Yeah, thank you. This is a little bit, uh, a little bit dodgy, but we still got. Uh, this isn't the worst thing ever. Right. Thank you very much, Fat Fox. Right, I can push him there and get another block against him. Me. Never fucking lucky, man. There's the one in nine. At an inopportune moment, it's just as I wanted to make a zombie dodge. And double GFI. <laughs> Let's go! Volva Drill! Volva Drill! To the rescue! <laughs> Get up there! Wayne finally doing something with his life. Well done, Wayne. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, Volva <laughs> drill was awesome, wasn't he? <laughs> Fucking Volva drill. <laughs> Just earthquake and the fuck out of everyone. <laughs> Classic. The best part of Sword and Shield was fucking Volva Drill just murdering every everything. <laughs> Whether it was on my side or not. <laughs> oh, glorious Hotek. Yeah, I've, uh, <laughs> I was having a big break from Blood Bowl, but hopefully, hopefully I can be back semi full time two games a day that's the plan that is the plan only murder constant constant vulva drilling <laughs> yeah yeah I mean you know I don't think it's wise to do tons of it anyone's including his own teams. <laughs> yeah, the one game is, is gone. <laughs> <laughs> completely indiscriminate for the drilling indeed. Oh man, he's made some dodges, hasn't he? He's made some dodges, but we don't need to go forward this turn. So it's not the end of the world. Wow, 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and make a 2D here, see what happens. Good. <laughs> I don't wanna dodge, obviously. That seems bonkers to dodge. This guy's in a bit of a bad spot, isn't he? Maybe I should have made that three downs. Lovely, lovely jubbly. So he can come and get us around that side, he can come and get us around that side. This guy can dodge away. One, two, three, GFI, GFI. He could 1D, and if he 1Ds, then we can move him. Oh no, the dodge is just better, isn't it? Glorious. He could go around there and then 2D him. But I think there's certainly value to not doing that. That's just 1D. Good enough. What the fuck is that kit? Do you mean the the logo or the or the kit? I like the kit, the uh the green. The green, look at that, that looks pretty cool. Orc dodges, I know right. <laughs> Pro tip zombie dodge without reroll. <laughs> yeah. I mean to be fair I did I did hit four dice at the fucking orc before I had to dodge. <laughs> yeah, pro tips. I, I was gonna call it pro tips undead, but then I thought seeing as my new my new motto is 85% effort, let's not make it pro tips. But then maybe the pro tips is to only give 85% effort. So there you go. Yeah, that, to be fair, it does look a bit shit long range. But yeah, when you zoom in and you see the uh, the swirly bits, I quite like it with the swirly bits, particularly on the armor. I guess it looks worse on the on the shirts. And yeah, zoomed out with this with this V as well looks a bit shit. To be fair, zoomed out with a V looks a bit crap. Yeah, maybe and I was because I was like that was the stupid thing, right? I was always like looking at chat and I'm not blaming chat for my misplays or anything <laughs> but you know obviously you can't concentrate as well when you're when you're looking at chat and interacting with chat and everything right so already I wasn't able to give 100% yet I was trying to give 100% and I was you know beating myself up when I made mistakes and everything and I just think it was stupid but then what's the point help? <laughs> and I still think it's better to just not try as hard. Just try, I'm happy with my idea of 85% effort. Don't try too hard, see what happens. I think that's a healthier way to play anyway. I'm not gonna hire Zub. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna fucking hire Zub. <laughs> Because 85% is, is, the, is the rule. I didn't make it up. I just copied it. Of, off the air. Uh, one of the greatest Olympians of all time. <laughs> I have 
have to roll some fucking dice this turn. I think I'd rather keep him there. No, maybe I shouldn't have. Maybe I should have followed. He can go there. And then I just have to dodge. Oh god, this is looking bad, isn't it? Why not score? Because he'd have two, two. Well, first of all, because I've gone laterally already now, so I can't score. Three, four, five, six, seven. I mean, I could have scored, but then he'd have two sco two turns to score back, wouldn't he? Which isn't ideal. Eight out of nine, this works, and, I, and I'm safe. Base him, which isn't super worth it. Makes me wonder if just standing here is better. It probably is. Phew! Look a dog. Look a dog alert! <laughs> Yeah, that's true, Squirrel Dude, that's true, but I'd already gone laterally. But yeah, maybe I should have just scored. Yeah. Yeah, maybe I should have just scored. Yeah, that was maybe too close to 100%. Yeah, I should have... I probably should have, um, but I'd, I'd already gone laterally, so I couldn't think about it anymore uh, once I'd done it. But yeah, maybe I should have just gone and, and let him try a two-turn. He's a 30%er after all. He's probably got less chance of two-turning than uh, he has of, you know, obviously one in nine failing there would have been pretty bad. I mean, getting one dice on the ball, what have you. So yeah. Well, 50-50, he's got Mr. Throw. So yeah, maybe I should have done. Actual blood ball, yep, yeah. hello Dimmy. <laughs> For two more turns and then some more blood ball in three hours time. Good afternoon. God. Yeah, do you know what? I probably should have scored. Because just the chance of him doing stuff is just higher than him scoring, isn't it? Yeah. No, yeah, I probably should have scored there. And again, like one of the things that I wanted to do when I was started streaming was to do things right. So that, you know, people could do things right. <laughs> And uh Oh fuck that haven't I? I fuck that, I'm moving in the wrong square. Fuck me, I could have oh god I'm a fucking idiot. He should have gone there. 
and he could have gone there then I could have blocked him into there and then pushed him that way I just thought of pushing him this way but I could have done it with block oh well this could have been with block doesn't matter <laughs> Woohoo! Good job, made it three dice. <laughs> right, but yeah, she could have should could have been with block then. Not never mind. Oh, the block with the was a one DB, was it? Oh, it's probably done then. Oh, he said, hey, Jimmy, G O hey, Jeff. <laughs> Hello. Rock hard today. So yeah, my mummies are generally shit, Muppet, yeah. My my mummies generally uh, never make any cars. I had an amazing one in, in, in Fumble that, like, I just sacked him. I just literally sacked him because he played so many games without making a fucking cars. <laughs> I had him for about 10 fucking games and he was he made like 150 blocks it was probably more than 10 games it was probably like 20 games made about 150 blocks and had no fucking SPPs so I just sacked him in disgust I think uh, oh god Gorilla Metzo is on 2 Gorilla Metzo gets to not be a line zombie Cheers. I could have said GG there, but there you go. I'll say GG on stream. <laughs> no zombie block. Block is not. Block is not. Uh, block is not blood. <laughs> could actually watch the vod and not feel bad. Outrageous. Do watch the vod. Zero percent greeting. Yeah, there you go. What can I say? Uh, it's game two, yeah, I just had a 12th man. That was it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you definitely deserve to die in the LOS, Wayne Farrow. But hey, at least you haven't got an eye in your name. <laughs> um, I've got no idea who got the SPPs from the concede. Yeah, yeah, the MVP at nominations is really nice, isn't it? <laughs> He's destined for greatness. Every, all the opponents are going to take him to Pound Town. Oh, was it the dead ghoul? Is the one on five? Oh, brilliant. <laughs> Fuck's sake. <laughs> oh. Fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> what little SPPs I had got fucking killed. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> I do not have to keep you at all, Finn. No way do I have to keep you. Oh, look at that, Wayne Ferris sucking up a reroll. Doesn't really matter. But you know, he battled, he battled. <laughs> He'll still get sacked. <laughs> you can't pop enough bubbles to be kept. <laughs> oh, he's probably going to foul uh, Kiwi rather than Wayne, isn't he? <laughs> GG. Bit mean to not say well played then. Maybe, but you know, I said GG. Is what it is. Played alright. He didn't play bad. He didn't play like a 37% or whatever he is, did he? He played alright. I wouldn't say he played well, but he played alright. 
He did the thing of like tagging the ball carry a lot, didn't he? Which a lot of kind of beginners do. Um, so. <laughs> He only played 84%, yeah. <laughs> fucking Finney did get the MVP, the absolute fucking piece of shit. Come for Finney. Fuck you, Finney. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, GG, all right, played, yeah. yeah get fucked, right. you little cunt. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Here comes the double fucking six, doesn't it? No. All right, sneaky git for you, Finny. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> um. <laughs> yeah, that's what a, what a great what a great investment of SPPs this is, isn't it? These fucking. These fucking useless bastards here. Let's have Moridam. Let's have Moridam as the uh, as the replacement. VIP Moridam. Literal goblin. Moriham. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Two wins, no levels. Yep. <laughs> yep. Almost zero MV Almost zero SPPs. Moriham. Fucking Finny. <laughs> Literal Hamgu. Right, Flicky Flax got a tuddy. So we've got five SPPs from two games. That's alright. Technically, technically these two <laughs> these two shithead zombies have SPPs. <laughs> but realistically, five SPPs from two games. But two and all, and I don't care. I don't care about the results or the SPPs or the player development or anything. It's just a bit of fun. So there you go. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.